This exclusive forecast for Madison, Indiana is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm WLKY Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Yeah, here it is, the middle of summer, and we still have lots of things going on in Kentucky. Anna, let's talk about a couple of them real quick. In Madison, uh, Friday, July 14th, we're talking from 5 to 9 p.m. It's music in the park. And right now, the forecast, there could be a shower or storm. Best chances in the morning. I think as we move towards late afternoon and evening for the actual event, will be drying out. Good news there. A little farther south as we move into Saturday, Oldham County Day is happening in LaGrange. Uh, the parade is at 10 a.m., by the way. The event goes from 9 to 4 in the afternoon. The weather looks terrific. Hot, but less humid. Lots of sun, middle and upper 80s. Enjoy. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, Jay, what do we say? We can count on you. After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your Little League game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's Jay say? say? We're here in LaGrange, Kentucky, where they're going to have a special event this weekend. And we're going to talk to Miss Jackie, who actually takes care of this, and it's Oldham County Day. But one of the unique things that you might want to know about LaGrange, Kentucky, is that there is a railroad track that runs right down Main Street. And you can sit there on the benches or in a chair and watch the train go by. There's even a bookstore that you can go in and get a book and sit outside and read it while you watch the train. But this weekend, they're having Oldham County Day. So if you're wanting to come home for a visit or you're wanting to come in as a tourist, they're going to have a lot of things for you. So we're going to turn it over to Miss Jackie and find out what all those things are. Oldham County Day. Come join us in downtown LaGrange on Saturday, July 15th. We start our day with a pancake breakfast sponsored by LaGrange Rotary Club at the Community Center from 7 to 10.30 a.m. At 10 o'clock, our parade kicks off on Jefferson Street, sponsored by Treehouse Foods and led by Grand Marshal Kyra Elsie, the star basketball player from Oldham County High School who went on to play for Pat Summit and the University of Tennessee. She's back in Oldham County for the weekend and we celebrate her accomplishments and the fact that she's a coach now at the University of Kentucky. The booths continue on the square from 9 to 4. We have entertainment from the Louisville Turner Circus at 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Look for unicycles and stilt walkers and jugglers in our parade under the big top. It's a free, family-friendly event. We welcome all of you to join us. Plenty of food vendors and fun, family-friendly entertainment, including the Oldham County Community Band performing on the lawn and lots to celebrate. We hope to see you there. Well, there you have it. That's all the great things that are going to be happening this weekend at Oldham County Day. There are several things in our region that are going to be going on, so if you want to check them out, check out your um, tourism Facebook pages and websites and see what all's going on in your little town or in our region. I'm here with Andrew Forster, who is the person in charge of Movies in the Park, coming at the end of July here in Madison. It's really good to meet you, Andrew. Hi, thanks for having me on. Can you tell us a little bit about Movies in the Park? Like, what, yeah. what got it started in the first place? Well, gosh, we've been doing this for six years now, as long as I've been involved, and then they did it a few years uh, before that. And we've expanded the movies every year. So this mm. year we have six movies all summer. We go May through October, and we have a movie every month, and it's down at Bicentennial Park. And this month happens to be the movie Moana. Oh, okay. Now, how much does it cost to get into the movies? It's completely free. Completely uh, free? Yeah, yeah. Thanks to our sponsors. We have generous sponsorship from Sedam Contracting. Mm -hmm. uh, they're our title sponsor. And then we have a number of other organizations that have jumped in and said they want to try and make this free for the public. And when do Movies in the Park happen? They start at dark. It's hard to say exactly when that is. That's changing all, uh, all year. 
Uh, during June, it's usually about 9.30 or a quarter till 10. Uh, but then as the summer goes on, uh, it's closer to about 9 o'clock. Oh, that's really cool. As soon as it gets dark and it's dark enough to see the movie, then it's the best I'll show time the, to movie. Watch the movie. That's right. Now, um, what kind, is it the same time every month, or when do you decide when it happens during the month? Uh, just kind of tried to pick a date uh, where there's another, not a bunch of other things going on. So we didn't want to overlap, uh, let's say, with the 4-H fair this weekend, or if there's a uh, music in the park down at the fountain, or Fourth Friday. We've tried to avoid those kind of things so that it's always free if uh, somebody wants to get there, and, uh, and they don't have to choose between two things going on. Okay, and when is it happening this month? Uh, this month it is July 29th, and I believe that's a Saturday. I should have looked before I <laughs> came in here, but I think it's a Saturday, July 29th, and it is Moana, and it'll be starting as soon as it gets dark, and so we'll be having it at Bicentennial Park. We hope lots of people come down, bring a lawn chair, uh, and come down, get your seat early, and come enjoy the movie. Are they going to serve any snacks? Uh, you know, we're working on that. We don't have a regular snack person that's there, but we've had some interest in, in a vendor that wants to come and do some snacks, so feel free to bring your own, but this year, or this uh, movie, we may have somebody there. That sounds awesome. Moana yep. is a fantastic family picture, and if you want to come down, make sure to bring your family. They would love it. Thanks so much for coming here, yeah, Andrew. thank you very much. The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford, music by Clay Beverly, produced by Lynn King. Hello, Victoria. We are so glad you made it out of the office today to come down here and visit with us. Thank you. It's beautiful. I'm happy to be outdoors today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we asked you to come down, because I knew you would be. I appreciate that. So, you're actually the Main Street Director for Madison. Yes, I am. I've only been on the job for a little over a month, so I'm still a newbie, but I've enjoyed every day of it so far. Oh, I think you're doing a great job. You're, just, you're all bubbly and you're, you're ready to go, so that's great. <laughs> Thank you. One of the things you take care of is music in the park. Now, yes. Tell us about that. Music in the Park is one of our biggest events. It happens the second Friday of the month from June through September. It's a free event for the community. We love to have so many people come out and enjoy a beautiful setting like the Broadway Fountain and just get to interact with other community members. We have two musicians. We'll have an opening act that begins at 6 p.m. And then we have our headliner that plays from 7 until 9. We have food vendors come out, so if you don't have time to grab something to eat after work before you come down, uh, we've got that covered for you. It's just a fun time, just a fun family event. Oh, well. Now, it's, it's actually at the Broadway Fountain in yes. Madison, and it's, it's easy to find because obviously this fountain <laughs> is just huge. You know, you, you can't miss it if you look down the street. You can't can't miss seeing it. So. No, you can't. So we have, yes, we have it at the Broadway Fountain for three of the months, and we've actually moved down to the Bicentennial Park for one of our events. We have a band that comes that, uh, we've kind of outgrown this location <laughs> when they come, which That's is a great. fantastic yeah. problem to have. Yeah. It's wonderful. So if you come out for, um, for that month, you will be joining us down at the Bicentennial Park. Oh, that is great. Now, if, if there is a band that's watching this and they decide that they want to be a part of this, mm -hmm. how can they get in contact with you in order to send in their application or whatever they need to do? Yeah, absolutely. So what you need to do is you need to send me an email at the Madison Main Street Program at gmail.com. You can also give me a call. Our number is 812-493-4984. That's great. Now, so this happens how often during the year? This is uh, four times a year, so four months out of the year. It's really, we pick the warmest months here in Indiana, so June through September. And it, do they have to buy a ticket, or is it free? What do no, they have to do? No, just come down, bring your lawn chairs or a blanket. We don't have any chairs provided here other than some benches set out. So you want to bring something to sit on, but other than that, just bring your family and friends. Oh, wow. This is, this is a wonderful event. I'm going to tell you, if you come down to Madison, Indiana, and you just walk down Main Street, you can hear the bands all over town. So you really don't have to be inside this park in order to hear them. So I think it's just wonderful. I, I enjoy doing it. I like to just come shopping and listen to the <laughs> bands. So 
Absolutely. Well, Victoria, we're very glad you were with us today, and thank you for all the information. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to share about this event. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And as for you, as always, thank you for watching.